Welcome back to Studio One. No improvisation needed here. Uh, no. The wonderful Suzanne Hussaini is back. Thank you, thank it's you. so nice to see you. Thank you, missed you. Yeah, we've missed you as really, well. You've yeah? been so, so busy with <laughs> yes. the, uh, the, the empire is expanding day on day, but you're still happy, yeah? I am happy, yeah? of course. Happy when I am cooking, when I'm doing what I love. Yes. Well, you know me, I'm in my element. Yeah. Today, I'm making you asparagus tart. Okay. So I've already done the pastry. Yes. I've baked it blind, so it's, 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 it's baked, it's cooked fully. Here, Does I've got... Does it what kind of pastry you use? It's or? a short crust pastry. Okay. Butter, flour, a little bit of yeah. salt, and uh, a little bit, one egg, and then you bake it. Here, I've got one whole egg and two yolks. Okay. Okay? I'm going to flavor it with a little bit of nutmeg, because nutmeg is amazing with cream. Okay. So that you can almost imagine this dish almost like asparagus and a hollandaise sauce. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. know how they go so well yeah, together? Yeah. I mean, this is sort of a version of it. Okay. Okay, except that we're going to put it in the oven. It's going to turn into a tart, almost like a custard. Okay. You can beat that away. Give that a little bit. Yes, please. Okay. And I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. Yep. And a little bit of pepper. Yep. And these are the only flavors that are in there. Okay? okay, because the other flavors that are going to come in here are going to sort of take over. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. That's well done. A little beat there. Yes. Then here, what I've done is I've roasted some red peppers, some capsicum, basically, is what these are. Okay. Uh, red and yellow yeah. for color. And also uh, to get the smoky flavor that I want, which mm. really complements the asparagus. Uh, of course, yeah. Okay, yeah. it really goes well. So I'm playing around with the flavors that are complementary. And I also want to introduce something sweet. So these are onions yeah. or shallots yeah. that I have also cooked and braised Lovely. in a little bit of olive oil. So you're going to get a lot of sweetness and smokiness here. Okay. All right. And then what I do to finish this off, that cream that you whipped so well, You've I'm got going to. that dairy to being cut through by that sweetness yes, as well. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So something rich to, as, like I said, like a hollandaise sauce. Mm. Okay. Oh, so I'm wow. going to pour about two thirds of it. Here yeah. and then you know the star ingredient is sitting here waiting, of course. Look those, those beautiful bad boys green, there. yeah, baby asparaguses. In season, as you said. In season, yeah. they are. I mean, not here, but you know, we get them from from uh, from Europe. Yeah. Okay, in season. And what I do is I just pick up a whole bunch of them, okay. three at a time, two at a time, and put them opposite. So uh, there. Mm -hmm. I think you can handle that. What you do you just think? Like, you, you yeah. literally come like up with a little design. Like one going this way. Yeah, yeah one beautiful. going this way, one going the other way. You want to finish it I'll off? I'll do that for you. Okay, yeah, I think you can handle that. Pull, pull my weight in the kitchen, you <laughs> exactly. know? Exactly. While you're doing that, okay. I'm going to make a quick salad. Cool. Okay, here I've got some arugula or rocket. Yeah. Excuse me. Not at all, madam. You. I'm in the way there. And these are cherry tomatoes okay. that are going to go in. Simple tomato and a little bit of lemon juice, oh, blimey, fresh lemon there. juice, yep. uh, pepper of course and a little bit of salt of course and of course a bottle of the best a bottle of the best okay and that's the best olive oil in town the best that you can afford of course yes okay and extra really virgin every time extra virgin you? obviously okay. yes and yeah. that's it that's a salad voila done so are you finished there so almost just done it nice just and finish them off yeah oh. yeah just oh no, i'm being I mean, too you know, finicky here no no you're, you're right? just too much of a perfectionist no, I, t I tell you what you're lucky wife i wish <laughs> i wish I'm not going to lose anything. I, I'm gonna, my Scottish roots will come through here, though. Every single one has to go in, all right? <laughs> That's it. Good. Good. So this goes into the oven. Could yeah. you do that of for course, me? Yeah. Do no the honors. And then I'm going to do some magic here. So and how long do you want this in here for? Uh, this is going to be about 30 minutes. OK, perfect. Okay, no 30 minutes until it is, um, uh, until really, till the eggs are set. It's like a custard. Maybe the pan is, uh, is too big. We can take it's it out of the pan. We can take it out of the pan. Here. We can do it without the pan. See, that's that's why I'd never be a success in the kitchen. You see, <laughs> I can't I can't think on my feet. Okay, well, magic of television. Voila. There we go. Look at how fast it cooks. Tom. Look at that. Okay. So just a quick reminder: that's been in the oven for thirty minutes. At what heat? At one eighty. One eighty. Okay. okay. So it it is set completely. So the egg is cooked. It's like a custard, Lovely. basically. And our salad, of course, is ready. Okay. All right. So our salad is going to go right here mm. on this beautiful um, plate. Wow. So we're going to plate this right here. Nice red and green. It's very holiday-ish, holiday isn't oh. it? And spring. I mean, this is spring. We're Fresh. celebrating spring today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. All right. And um, we're going to cut a slice okay. of this. What do you think? It's such a nice thing that you could serve. I mean, obviously, you could have it as a light supper, light yes. lunch. But also, you could serve it For as a little brunch. sort of canapé. Exactly. Or a little exactly. Yeah. 
and um, you get yourself a nice sharp knife and if you've done your pastry well your your pastry will be nice and buttery and flaky look at that delicious and inside you see where the um, yeah. where the peppers are let's get ash over to try yes, this ash please come come ash. on ash yes indeed come and try this i'm gonna put a piece here one slice so another suzanne cook's uh, book hitting shelves soon working on one of those uh, i am indeed i am yeah. working on a second one and mm -hmm. um hello ash hello are you hungry very <laughs> and of course when you're in the kitchen it smells so good in here oh, you're so that sweet. it just makes you hungry even if you aren't thank you looks really and good. uh Oh, you say, uh, you know, <laughs> I came with my yeah. pomegranates, yes. The just jewels, a little the bit, jewels yes, are out. Just mm -hmm. a little bit here, a little bit there. And of course, the crunch factor, mm. I always like to add something crunchy mm. on top. And that's just a little bit of pine nuts. Mm. So uh, please dig in. Susan, I, uh, I know that you <laughs> love your pomegranates, but yes. is it readily available, you know, irrespective of the season? Or do you get special ones? Um, I don't know. Well, you know, here in Dubai, we're so lucky mm -hmm. in that we do have um, pomegranates that come to us from different parts of the world all the time. Mm. If you notice, yeah, we're, we're lucky. We get it from India. We get it from Mexico. We get from, um, mm. tell me. How is it? Mm. Does it melt that in your mouth? Delicious. The mm. buttery pastry along with creamy. the creamy. Yeah, so it's like crunchy. a hollandaise. Mm. So nice. <clears throat> I love how it's soft and You're crunchy lovely. and buttery and everything at yeah. the same time. Suzanne, that is delicious. Thank you. I never thought an asparagus tart could be this exciting. <laughs> well, really we nice. get excited when asparagus is in season, <laughs> so you try to find things to do with it. Recipes on our Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash today one live. And that is all we have time for this evening on Studio One. Join us tomorrow for Fashion Thursday. Yeah, grab a copy of When Suzanne Cooks, catch a copy of this, and join us again tomorrow from 7.30. Bye. Bye. Bye.